Hi, my name is Carl Taylor. I'm a professional photographer and ambassador for Hasselblad Camera Company. Now, welcome to this series of videos giving an overview of the Hasselblad X1D camera, the world's first mirrorless digital medium format camera. Now, first off, let me start by explaining that medium format photography is the very pinnacle of photographic quality. If you are a photographer who wants to achieve the ultimate in image reproduction and yet retain a portable but versatile option, then this camera system is certainly worth your attention. Now, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the current features and functionality of the camera. And in the following videos, I will concentrate on more specific features. So let's start off with the build quality and feel of the camera. Well, the camera has a very high build quality. It also has great ergonomics. A lot of development time has been put in by the Hasselblad engineers and design team just into getting this grip feeling absolutely beautiful. And I must say it does feel wonderful in the hand. The camera feels very high quality. Everything about it, the metal finish, the gloss surfaces, the matte surfaces, the connection of the lenses to the body, everything feels superbly high quality. The camera's body strength is very impressive. It feels very robust, very rigid and superbly strong. Hasselblad have also designed these new XCD lenses with impeccable optical quality specifically for this particular camera. There is also uh, weather sealing on this camera. So all of the main function buttons, the shutter button, the feature buttons, even the input and output uh, catches here and the battery compartment all have weather sealing and protection, giving you dust protection, protection from uh, water spray, that sort of thing. So this makes this a very usable camera for a variety of conditions. The other great thing about the camera is its size. As you can see, it is smaller than a full frame DSLR camera. And weight wise, it's only coming in with a body weight of less than 725 grams. This is half the weight of a conventional medium format camera and very similar to the weight of a full frame DSLR. So let's move on to the main functions and features of the camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overview of each external button, some of the imports, etc., on the camera, and I will cover them in more specific details in later videos. So let's start off at the top of the camera. Let me just put my glasses on. So on the top here, we have the Hasselblad orange shutter button that is the capture button, obviously. Further down, we have the autofocus and manual focus select button. Next to that, we have the ISO and white balance button. And then alongside that, we have the main control dial. Now on the main control dial, we have manual quick mode, manual mode, aperture priority, shutter priority, program mode, and then we have the uh, square symbol, and the square symbol is just for complete auto, auto, white balance, auto, everything. Then there's also a movie mode, so you can film in HD if you want to film movies. And then you'll also see we've got C1, C2, C3, which are three custom option buttons that you can program. Below that, we have the on off power button. On the top, we have the camera's hot shoe, where you can connect a flash or the GPS unit. On the front here, we have the lens release. So for taking the lenses off and changing the lenses. And on the other side on the front, we have a stop down button, which allows, us, allows you to activate the aperture to close it down so you can preview depth of field on the camera. On the side, we have the first uh, flap door that lifts open where we have our USB connection, our HDMI connections, our headphone jacks, and our microphone jack as well. In the next slot, we also have dual card slots for the memory cards for recording. On the top, on the back, we have the viewfinder, 
and alongside it is a diopter adjustment dial on that viewfinder. On the back here, we have two buttons. One is the automatic exposure, or the AE lock button, so you can lock the exposure. And then alongside it is a focusing control button as well. We have the rear control wheel here for adjusting the um, shutter speed or aperture. I think you can configure it either way. And then on the front, we have the front control wheel as well. Then in addition to that, um, on the back, we have this beautiful touchscreen control panel. And on the touchscreen control panel, we can control all of the functions of the camera, especially if you want to control the aperture settings manually, um, or you want to go in and control the shutter speed settings or the ISO, etc. And you can slide the control uh, with the touch sensitive. You can slide on the back of the screen, just like a smart um, a smartphone or a tablet, uh, to give you access to the menus and other systems within the camera. There are also a series of buttons alongside that screen to allow further access, but again, as I said, I'll be going through that in more detail. Finally, on the bottom of the camera is a release catch that lets the battery uh, come out. And that's very cleverly designed so that if, for example, we press the release button here, the battery will not fall out of the camera. You need to press another click to release it. So very well thought out, very well designed. So that's an overview of the uh, main buttons and functions on the camera. In later videos, I'll be going through those features in more specific detail.